How's it going, everybody? Uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm going to start the video out in here, down in my basement, and I'm going to take you guys out on the line with me. And then I'm going to wrap it up by showing you some of the furs I got up this year. Uh, so, yeah, caught first canine of the year, which is this red fox behind me, and caught a big coon. Um, uh, I will say, in the first part of this video, the part you're going to see next, uh, I was super out of breath. Um, I, I, I was look I was looking a little dumb there. Uh, basically, I went out, didn't have my gun. I didn't know how good that fox was caught, so I it was like a half mile. So I uh, I kind of almost jogged back both ways with the gun side, so I was kind of out of breath. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I do got one catch in there in the end. It was from like December eighth or something. I just figured I might as well add it in. But uh, yeah, hope all right, guys. How's it going? Got this nice cold, cold morning. It's only like 10 degrees with the wind chill. It's probably around zero. Um, I'm out of breath. Uh, took the, came back on my line without a gun. And uh, got the first canine of the year, finally. So walking up on him. Look, there's his tracks. He came from that way. There's his tracks right there. You guys see a red fox bouncing in there. my uh my favorite thing to catch hopefully he's caught good but these red foxes man they're my favorite thing to catch and a lot of people were to release them and but boy they've just been eating so much of the, the rabbits every day i come back and there's dead rabbit back here it's not cool so i caught him in a, a walk through set just two punch holes beautiful guy Beautiful. I love that catch circle in the snow. See how good he's caught. Hind foot catch. Her front front left foot catch. He ain't very big, but man, he's dark. He's a dark guy. Man, is that a cool? He's an older fox. Face is big, but I'm gonna get him taken care of. So you guys can kind of see I got this. You can see that distinct trail from the left side of a quad tire. So I just put this trap, I think my bed was like, there's that trail, my bed was like right there. And then, you know, it keeps going. And then I put two punch holes, just kind of maybe to stop them. Like I could have got this guy a blind set, who knows, but uh, let's check him out. It's a nice, nice big mess. Uh, I'm gonna assume he's a male. Yeah, he's an old male. Um, but uh, it's kind of hard to see there, but his, his freaking, his foot is touching the pan <laughs> in the MB550. These traps are machines, guys. They're they're awesome. Um, they're. I mean, look at that. You can't go wrong with that catch. He ain't ever getting out of that trap. I, he would have held all day, but uh, it was good to get him out when I did. But I mean, just beautifully furred up. Not really rubbed. I don't know if fox is rubbed or not, but. You know, he has a real, like, dark, dark red back. Um, nice bushy tail. Definitely smaller than the last one. That last one I caught must have been big, because its tail probably was, like, that long. But, uh, you know, the blacker colored feet. A little bit of red in, redness in the back. Beautiful, beautiful fox, guys. See, back in the first shed, I want to get this guy scun out on the board. Um, go from there. So there's the remake. A um, lot of scent, I mean. And again... You see that trail comes down. My trap's right on that trail. Keeps going. And then under there, I got two holes. One like right there, one right there. Put that big mound of grass, bundle that in. And uh, there's a good chance that I'm gonna make another catch here soon. So there it is. All right, got them all boarded up. Sorry for the mess down here and the lighting. It's in my basement, so it's kind of dark. But uh, I mean, you know, obviously first prime. Um, I was going to skin the feet out, but I, I decided not to. I just skun the legs real long so you could see the black. Um, got the main bit of meat off of him. Flushed the, you know, the saddle off and stuff. Uh, he has a lot of, I'm, I'm going to assume these are all tick bites. A couple of his back, but uh, a lot, like on the back of his neck, a, a whole lot. So, 
But uh, yeah, I'll show you him when he's flipped. I'll probably flip him maybe this evening or uh, tomorrow morning. So. Alright, guys. Uh, sorry for the lighting; it's kind of bad here, but uh, that's Fox all got out. It's probably been like five, six hours since I boarded him. He was here, everywhere on it. You know, sounds like paper. Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flip this guy. I'm just gonna reach up in and just start being very careful that I don't rip. This belly area right here will rip pretty easily. Start. I had a fan blowing on this all day, so made it quick. There it is. And I like to just snap it. And then uh, take the feet out. Okay, I got the feet out. That's a beautiful fox. I'm gonna get him back, board it up, brush him out. I'll show you guys that. But hey, how's it going, everybody? Hope you can hear me good. Uh, got this nice uh, raccoon today on the line. Just in a foot old set. Here, I'll show you. Oh, Hank, you don't know what to think of this raccoon. Got him here in this set where I got some bait under that log, and then there he is. It's not a bad sized coon. I'm gonna say he's a boar. Good, good, good catch there on the MB550. He looks like he might have started rubbing on the back there. Pretty coon. Uh, he is missing his his foot right there. So um, I don't know what happened to that. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say anything because you know I don't wanna upset anybody. But uh, yeah, go get this guy dispatch. All right. So when I used to dispatch all my animals with this little Rossi 22, uh, it's a super short gun as you can tell. It's perfect for carrying on the line. Got little ghost sights on it. So, uh, but, you know, just right on these coons, I'll go right between the ears. Eh, you draw an, if you draw an X between the eyes and the ears, I go right in the middle there. So the eyes are just too low. You gotta make sure you get in the rain cavity, just using the little 22s. You do that, you walk up. Like that. Um, okay, he's dead. He did not feel one thing at all. I can I can assure you that. Alright, so we got the coon here. He is a boar. Um great catch in the old 550. Can't express how much I love this strap. I mean, you know, toes are touching with the shock springs on. Um he did rip my trap tag off. I'll have to put a new one on. But uh yeah, you see, missing a front foot. Um, let's check the fur out. Yeah, that's a big coon. Big fat guy. So, he did, he is starting to rub just a touch there. So I got this coon, perfect timing. You know, just a typical, typical PA coon there. You know, yellow on the neck, decently dark back. Got his little stubby tail, you know, but, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, here's my look at him. It's a big coon. Step back a little bit. It's a big coon. I'm gonna say he's going over 20. All right, guys. Made another catch this morning. Uh, it's not the worst catch ever. Got a raccoon here, and they uh, had a dirt hole set. Caught him in a one and a half. He's a good sized coon. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take him out. So I'm gonna go back, grab the gun. Yep, not a huge coon, but uh, you know, you know what that means. Um, so had to kind of take him out. Looks like a uh, female. I've been catching a lot of females this year. Um, not a bad coon, just the average raccoon for the area, but you yeah. know. Hey guys, so I haven't put too much fur up this year. Um, I really haven't caught too much to put up. I do got, I had two coons that uh, went bad on me. I forgot them in my fridge. But, uh, so I'll, stress, I'll start by the muskrat. Two of them f f from last year, but I got sick this year. Um, gonna tan these all this year. Make them into like some mittens or something, or a hat, or, um, yeah, they're not, I mean, for him, on these aren't the greatest, but, uh, it'll work for now. Um, so yeah, there's some, some muskrats I got. 
all all furred up real nice. We just caught them in like mid this probably late December. Uh, here's one of the coons that I actually ended up putting off this year. He's real greasy. I'm still working on getting him not greasy, but I mean perfect. He's a little blue here on the back, but uh, he was a kind of earlier caught coon. But yeah, nice leather on him. Um, all my fur, all the, all the fur this year you're going to see me catch is going to go towards me making something with. Um, so, like this coon, I mean, I missed a little bit of fat there, a little bit of fat there. You know, that line's crooked. It's not the prettiest put up coon ever, but it works for me. Um, I mean, I'm just going to knock all this heavy stuff off with a, a wire wheel when I tan it. So, it works for me. Um, yeah, this coon I caught. This is a coon you see in the video. This thing is freaking giant. Uh, he goes 35 inches from the nose to the base of the tail right here. 35 inches on the dot. So he's pretty much, I mean, he's pretty much as long as that fox. I mean, he's longer than that fox, actually. Um, he's a big coon. Drills real nicely, you know, nicely furred off and stuff. But uh, here's that fox I caught. Real beautiful guy. Um, I got it all brushed out. You know, it's nice and dry. You can hear that. It sounds like paper. Um, yeah, it's a real good looking fox. Not too sure what I'm going to do with them. I mean, I'm going to tan them, no doubt. But I don't know if I'm going to keep them just for a wall hanger or make something with them. But yeah, I mean, got that nice big bushy tail. White tip on it. Real, real good looking fox. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. 